Hey, this is MassX with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video, and this is my World Championships recap, real quickly. Um, I got lucky this time and, and still got number one, so there's some shameless self-promotion out front. But let's talk about first um, the 10 players that beat the initial setup out of the gate. It took almost a full two weeks, but it happened. Um, the first person to beat um, the setup was Bot. The second was she -Ra. The third was Bizleaks. The fourth was Honda. The fifth was Grandal. The sixth was Kreiser. The seventh was Green Lantern. The eighth was Senkai. The ninth was Takano Rai. And the tenth was Deadpool. Congratulations. You all beat that t initial setup team. I think there was two more Rob did and somebody else. Um, but I was only keeping track of the first 10. And then the final day, um, I did switch up the teams. And I'll go ahead and show those teams to you. This was one of my more throwaway teams. I put them in slot one. Um, but they actually did okay, surprisingly. This time, usually I don't go for soul halls on all seven teams. This time I did. Um, probably wasn't my best work because I didn't have a lot of time. So I went with the soul hall route to at least to get that damage reduction the first two rounds. The team two on that last day, let's take a look at them real quickly, was another team I consider kind of a throwaway team. You know, the synergy is not great. I just went with... Um, who I thought could have some durability. This particular team did not hold up well at all. Um, would not recommend trying it. The next teams you see are ones that actually did quite well, to say the least. This is um, an alteration of a setup where I normally use snipers in the back line um, with Ichigo. Um, I switched it up to kind of spread things out a little bit more. These guys held up pretty well, I gotta say, surprisingly. Um, when the snipers are in the back line, in, instead of Ostalordi and Biakia, um, it's just a, it decimates. Um, but like I said, I was trying to uh, try some things different, see how far I could spread apart teams without completely loading up four super strong teams. This is a variation of the nail that I use. Um, as you can see, I tried out um, two different characters than I would normally use um, our newest UR as well as um, I put in Anniversary Eyes in. I pull them sometimes, I put them in, I pull them, I put them in. Um, he's just such a good finisher with a Nell team. He does really well with them. This team always does pretty good. And as you can see with this team, you know, I, I love the Zengetsu teams because it allows me to use UR Toshiro. Um, you know, you're going with the added rage with uh, um, the anniversary Ichigo. Um, you've got Toshiro on that front line to help with the freeze. And this, this is one of the teams I, I was testing out, throwing in a sniper in that back line with White and Zengetsu. This, it did well. This one held, hold up, holds up well. If they survive, they usually can kill a team in about three rounds tops against a top contender. If you've been watching my videos in the past, you know in every world I always do all female teams. I love them. I think they're great. They have versatility. Yeah, they're not going to win every time, but they always have that chance. And they can play a team much higher level than them and always have a chance to win. This time around, um, of course, Yuki's in there, um, which uh, definitely gives it a, a push to say the least. Um, I was pretty happy with it. Um, I'm hoping we get some more real well-built um, competitive female characters down the road because I, I'm telling you, female teams um, are great. And also too, if you're if you're if you're a light spender or free to play, a lot of the characters um, you can get and you can pick and choose who you want. The key is the War Souls. I've done videos on this in the past, but I absolutely love them. And they do great. And sometimes, you know, it will just go to 10. And you may not eliminate the team, but you win. 
So they're a fun team always to play. Last but probably not least, of course, is the Rage Reduction team. This time I went ahead and put Yami in the back line, who I had not been using before with this team. Um, I've mixed it up a few different ways. You know, that core is always your Summertime Geen and your Shinji. And I personally think Butterfly Aizen just thrives in this team and, and is a great addition. Um, Yami did well this time. Um, you know, just when you think he's down and out and not as usable of a character, at sometimes he comes back and, and gets in formations that just work so well with him. Uh, this formation is definitely a solid formation if you have these characters to use. With that, I'll go through the top 10 real quickly that it ended up. Uh, side note, I gotta give an honorable mention to Rob. In every Worlds we have played, nobody has ever beaten the team that I set up on the final day. And Rob did it. He sniped it. Sniped it twice. I didn't have time to change anything in it. And was just keeping my fingers crossed that things would work out. Um, he always does a, a great job and is creative with much more limited resources. I got to give him kudos um, because, you know, I, I took a look and was like, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but no. And also, too, an honorable mention to Kreiser. Um, he, he set a goal to try to win more than four matches, and, and he was able to with the, with the other setup and, and got some five, I think it was five twos. Yeah. Um, so hats off to him because he's always good at figuring out the puzzles of an opponent's team. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the remainder of the top 10. As you can see, Kreiser came in on 5th, Bot was 6th, um, and so on. Rounded out that top 10, as you can see, Rob ended up making it in ninth. So hats off to him, um, and she, Rob, was up there as well. Again, you know, I, I, I always tell everybody, don't take World 2 personally. Um, it's more to me about just being able to see what other people are doing on other servers that you don't get to play in Kampachi Contest. It's a great time to test. It's a great time to see what characters work um, and what characters don't. So I, I do enjoy it. Um, I really am hoping that we get some more cross-server content like we were supposed to, <clears throat> Squad Boss. But we will see. With that, I hope everybody's having a great week. We should be having our Halloween event coming pretty quickly here. I'm guessing if it's not coming this week, which I would imagine it's probably not, it's probably going to hit the servers in the next week or two um, because they usually run those for two weeks. Eh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'd be more mid-October, come to think about it. Either way, at least we've got another event coming. Let's hope it's a better character than what they produced on this last event. Um, because they've been really good about that, um, especially with the subscription characters. But, man, oh, that Holly Bell was just, ugh. I used her in Worlds. I just wanted to see how she did. And you know what? She did disappoint. So, yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a tough one. With that, like and subscribe. Hopefully we get some new content. Hopefully we get some new characters, so you'll get some new videos. I'll keep pumping out what I can. Um, I'm just trying to keep it alive. Take care.